Metal Gear Solid is famous for stealth always being a priority, except if you suck at it, you'll get roasted. If you keep failing at sneaking around, the game will pop up a menu that asks if you want to equip the chicken hat. If you wear it, enemies won't spot you even when you're standing right in front of them, which makes the game ridiculously easy, sure, but you also have to run around as a chicken. It's not as direct as God of War's secret achievement because in the original PS3 version, it's totally normal to die over and over, but if you find yourself losing like 10 times in a row, the game decides to step in and ask if you want to change the difficulty. Doesn't matter if you choose yes or no, because at this point, the game has already handed you this trophy. Another classic, Crash Bandicoot Warp, was pretty popular back in the day, and that's why a lot of people were excited to see it included in the trilogy remake. But when it comes to the boss battle against Tiny Tiger, there was an incredible change. For those who are too lazy or not skilled enough to beat it, there was an easy way out. You could sit in the corner and be completely invincible against the lions. If you were still this bad at the game decades later, you probably tried the same trick in the remake, and while surprisingly, it still works, but now, the the audience doesn't approve and will throw cheese at you. In 2010, Pretty 2 was released on PSP, and if you don't know, this is a humble side-scroller franchise known for being insanely difficult. Even though the first Pretty game was a success, a lot of players pointed out that it was way too hard. It was the number one complaint, but instead of taking the feedback on board, the developers decided to troll everyone. With the release of Pretty 2, they included a brand new difficulty called Baby Mode, and the description says, this is for all you diaper-wearing noobs, dude. I'm mean, sure it made the game actually playable, but it wasn't gonna let you off easily because your healing items are changed to diapers and you get three hits before dying. For areas where you could fall, they added these big pink baby blocks that help you get across too. And Earthworm Jim decided to punish players who are bad at the game in a super messed up way. If you decide to play on easy, you better be prepared for a slap to the face, because after spending hours fighting enemies and working your way through Earthworm Jim's levels, you finally reach the end of the story. But once the credits start to roll, you'll realize they aren't credits at all. You might have expected an ending, but instead you are treated to five minutes of non-stop facts about worms. I'm serious, this goes on for five minutes, and people who play it on a higher difficulty difficulty never saw this. The trolling only gets worse from here, because Ninja Gaiden is an iconic series that's famous for how difficult it is. Before the days of Dark Souls, this was the king of tough games. It never had an easy mode until Ninja Gaiden Black came along. This was a reboot, and the devs were asked to make a difficulty that would cater to new players. Well, instead of making the game easier, they created Ninja Dog Mode. I mean, sure, it helped you defeat enemies with more tools, but you were humiliated for it. The most embarrassing part of choosing the Ninja Dog Mode was by far this purple bow. Your character is supposed to be serious and tough, and seeing him with a bow on his arm, I mean, it, it stings a little, not gonna lie. One of the characters even straight up roasts you for being bad at the game. Master you. it seems I have greatly overestimated you. And I don't think anyone expected to be made fun of by their own character. In Sticks Shards of Darkness, you of course play as Sticks, although it turns out that he actually breaks the fourth wall if you suck at the game. When you die, there's a chance that Sticks appears and absolutely shreds you. You realize using the controller with your feet's not gonna gain you an achievement, right? Listen, there's no need to be ashamed. I'm not gonna tell anyone if you put the level of difficulty down. And not every game straight up insults you, sometimes the punishment is 10 times worse. In Bully, there are plenty of ways to get a game over, but getting busted by a prefect, that takes skill. You had to be pretty bad at the game to be caught by these guys. But once you get busted, you are sent to detention and forced to do chores like mowing a lawn. It's already pretty bad, but if you somehow get caught over and over again, the lawn would get bigger. And honestly, I'd rather be laughed at than forced to do this. Actually, I take that back because in 2007, this indie game was just one big middle finger to anyone who played it. It's called, I Wanna Be The Guy and was super difficult to play through. Despite all the trolling, people were still determined to get through it, so they tried out easy mode, except when you did this, the game would just instantly kill you. As for medium difficulty, you weren't murdered, but humiliated. It gave you more checkpoints around the map, but instead of saving, it was changed to wuss. Your character's hair was also given a pink bow, kind of like Ninja Gaiden, which makes sense because there was actually a Gaiden version of this game with even more hilarious ways to troll you. The worst part is, if you selected easy mode in this version, you would just be redirected straight to the bar Barbie website. And the trolls got even more elaborate in Twisted Metal 2. For those who are new to the series, the developers offered a friendly looking mode. I mean, how thoughtful of them. You're able to learn how to play, and then we're taken to the game's very first boss, Minion. But there was one problem. Instead of beating him and moving on, the game suddenly showed a stop sign and said, no losers allowed beyond this point. A punishment that was probably more deserving could be found in Fable. Instead of just roasting you for picking a difficulty, this was an elaborate prank that targeted the laziest players in the game. At one point in Fable, 
level, you were given a challenge named Hidden Booty Hunt, and it would take you on a long quest full of clues, puzzles, and mystery. It all led to an actual piece of treasure, which was this frying pan, and it turned out to be a super powerful weapon that could be upgraded with augments. Except, if you were lazy and just decided to Google where the treasure was, expect to receive a fitting prize. Picking up this frying pan without the clues makes it absolutely useless, as it deals zero damage and can't be upgraded. Meanwhile, in games like Streets of Rage 3, being bad at the game actually got you banned from finishing the story. If you selected a lower difficulty, you could still play through the game fairly normally. This mode would make Streets of Rage easy to play, so because of this, it's no surprise that when you got to the end, there was a message waiting for you. An enemy would taunt you for playing the game like a beginner, and then the two final stages of the story would be locked off. You literally had to replay the entire campaign again just to see how it ends. One of the most famous roasts in video game history belongs to the Batman Arkham series. In every single game, you are usually facing tons of supervillains at the same time, and depending on where you die, you are forced to sit there and watch as your enemies look over your body and straight up laugh at you for dying. Riddle me this, what's dead? You! Who's gonna fight crime now? Robin? <laughs> Now there is one game on this list that always takes everything way further than it has to, Postal 2. Turns out on easy mode, we're not even allowed to save our games anymore without being straight up roasted. My grandmother could beat the game if she saved as much as you do. This is nothing compared to Postal's long history of trolling people. Pretty controversial game, not to mention super graphic, and that is why an attorney named Joe Lieberman included it in his argument for why violent video games should be banned. In response, the devs added a special difficulty to Postal 2 called Lieber Mode. It's the easiest mode of the game because it gives every single enemy a taser rather than a gun. And this next game is an honorable mention that I just had to include. The Bard's Tale doesn't roast you for sucking at the game, it just insults you for literally no reason. For most players who bought the game physically, they could find secret text that said, for a disturbing image, flip this disc over. And of course, looking on the other side, you just see a reflection. Throughout the Call of Duty games, you've always had to fire at other soldiers, I mean, except that one mission. So in games like Modern Warfare 2019, the developers thought you'd have learned your lesson by now. If you shoot a friendly target instead of a classic mission failed screen, they straight up say, are you serious? Because come on, you know better than that. It gets even more humiliating in Demolition Man. This was a game based on a movie, but I don't think anyone expected Sylvester Stallone to appear out of nowhere and absolutely roast you. Hey, puke Skywalker, use the force. Come on, is this the best you can do? But one of the most frustrating and famous characters in all of gaming is known for mocking you during a boss battle. In Undertale, the hardest fight in the game belongs to Sans, and let me tell you, it's unfair how tough he is. Of course, the developer Toby Fox knew that this would be an iconic battle and decided to taunt players even further. Every time that you die to Sans, he will remember exactly how many times you fought him and mock you for being bad at the game. After dying 10 times in a row, he'll offer you to invite your friends over to celebrate and then point out that your character, well, doesn't have any friends. Eventually, he even loses count of how many times you die and asks you to count for him. It was one of the many reasons that this is the most famous boss battle of the last 20 years. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been Tommy and keep it here on T5G. Thank you.